Today we're going to be going over one of the best AI image generators for anime that I've seen yet and that is Yodayo. Just a quick example, here is an image that I generated of Rem in an outfit of Shishiro Botan from Hololive holding a gun and this is not something that you would normally be able to do in other AI image generators on the market. I personally am a heavy Niji Journey user which is a branch of Mid Journey and none of these generations actually come close to what I want. Uh, most of them are just Rem in a field and although they look good, it's nothing close to what I can get here and that is because of these models and spells which allows you to customize what you're actually getting and if you're actually familiar with Stable Diffusion, that is exactly what they're running. They're running Stable Diffusion, however they have their own models that they've trained and their own spells aka Lauras that they've trained as well as other models and Lauras that are available on Civit AI. One additional cool feature they're working on right now is the Tavern Beta which allows you to talk to characters from animes and Hololive and they're increasingly adding more characters to talk to and it uses a chat style interface kind of like character AI and if you're familiar with ChatGPT like ChatGPT. So a huge thanks to Yodaya for reaching out and sponsoring this video and with that we're gonna go ahead and jump into a tutorial on how you can use Yodaya to generate AI anime images. Alright when you first go into Yodaya you're gonna be met with this screen here this home screen where you can go to home explore new artwork tavern or log in but before you do anything you want to log in first. And this is pretty easy. You can use Google, sign in with Apple, or find other ways to sign in, but I personally just use Google. It's the easiest and fastest way to do it. And before we get into the image generation side of things, I want to let you know that these models are very capable of generating NSFW content. I have talked to the owners about this and they are working on ways to kind of help this out, but don't be surprised if you see anything that is outside of SFW just because of the way that stable diffusion generators work. All right, so jumping into the new artwork tab, you'll be met with this screen here where you have a prompt area and then you have a negative prompt area right here. This negative prompt area will change depending on what model you select. So let's go ahead and select anything V5. You can see that it changed up there. Let's go ahead click Brain Dance and Brave Dawn and you can see that these negative prompts are changing. And also do note that you can add your own words in here. Let's say you want to add a hat and a backpack. You can add those words in here too. So let's just go through the whole process here. We're going to go ahead and craft a prompt. Um, we're going to go ahead and leave negative prompt as is. And there's one other important option. This is the high priority button. So if you do high priority, you can technically generate for free, quote unquote, but it's going to take a long time. Um, I've had generations take up to an hour plus on low priority because of how many people are using this. So high priority, high priority uses five beans. And with that, let's talk about the compute credits, AKA yo beans for yo dio. So you need yo beans in order to do high priority generations or to do enhancements as seen here. And to get additional yo beans, well, you can buy additional yo beans. Um, here are all of the prices right here. $10 will get you roughly 260 generations. But one thing to note is that every day you get 100 daily free yo beans that you can use. These are unstackable, so you have to use them all in one day. So say you use 60 one day, you have 40 left over. The next day, you will be topped off at 100. And if you did want to sign up, they did give me a link that you can sign up with down below in the description. That will get you an additional 100 yo beans or an additional 20 image generation. Now back to the image generator. Scrolling a little bit more down, you have your models and you have your spells, aka Lauras. The models, there are 130 models out there and you can pick and choose. Each model kind of has a different style to it. Like there are these Hololive ones that are specific for Hololive models models and then there are some that are towards realism and all of that so and below are these spells aka Lauras and what these allow you to do are choose a specific character background style etc I think it's better to just demonstrate and they have over 2,000 spells available now we're gonna go ahead and choose a spell in this case we're gonna search up ReZero because we're gonna go to Rem and generate some of REM. So here when you click on the character, you have a trigger word and then you have a spell strength. So this basically just changes how much of an effect the spell has on your generation. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it at the standard strength for now. And then the trigger word just goes, uh, just goes into the prompt and tells the model like, hey, we wanna generate an image 
of this character and this trigger word is Damu. And so if we go ahead and scroll back up, you can see now that there is this Damu here and then you've got and you've got the Laura in brackets as well. But before we actually generate, we're going to go ahead and scroll down to settings. And here are a bunch of other toggles that you can go through. There are sampling methods, steps, scale, seed, canvas size. So what you're most likely going to be interested in are canvas size. So you can change the canvas. In this case, we're going to go ahead and leave at normal portrait. But do note, you can do custom here um, or these other ones. But normal portrait works best for characters. And briefly go over these other ones. So steps changes the quality of it. Um, but it takes a little bit longer. So this is how many how many iterations that the model goes through to generate the image. I just leave it at the standard 30. And scale is basically how faithful the model is to your prompt. So if you bring it all the way up, you're going to be uh, very faithful to the prompt. It's going to generate to what you input into the prompt. But if you put it at one, you're going to have a lot of artistic liberty, liberty and one is, is is not good in my opinion. Uh, so just leave it. I just leave mine at the standard 10. And seed allows you to generate the same character as long as all of the other settings are the same. But I'll go ahead and demonstrate that a little bit later. And lastly, sampling methods just changes how the model generates and converges to an image the noise, etc. If you want to read a little bit more on sampling methods, I'll go ahead and link you to a page where you can read all about sampling methods for stable diffusion. And now we're able to generate. So it's pretty easy. Once you kind of understand all of those different things, it is really simple to just generate. And another thing to note is that this is all done online. So you can run it on your phone, which is pretty cool. They have an iOS app and they let me know that they're working on an Android app. So it'll be coming to the app store pretty soon for Android users. But let's go ahead and click generate and see our masterpiece. All right. So here is our first generation of Rem. And so here we kind of have a little bit of Shirogane Noel inside of here. And that is probably because I chose the Hololove model. Um, but let's go ahead and now increase the uh, spell strength to 1.5, which is the maximum spell strength that you can use stably. If you go above 1.5, it gets a little crazy. So let's go ahead and regenerate that image. And here you go. You got a little bit more features of, of Rem with, with a pink band in the hair. And if we go ahead and select some other models, one that I really like is this Mena one. This Mena one is pretty fantastic. All you have to do is click Mena and then generate high priority. It keeps your prompt. And here we go. Here we have a generation of RAM right here. And so just like that, you can generate any image that you want. So cool. This is how you generate. This is how you change the settings, the models, the spells. What happens if you want to see the previous generations that you did? So that's where we're going to go ahead and click this time button up here. And we can see all of our previous generations um, that we've done. So here we have all of our generations. We have a lot of Shishiro Botan and Rem. And so you can find all of your previous generations here. This I thought was pretty cool, the back tattoo one. But let's go to one that we want to upscale. And we're going to go ahead and click this Rem one right here. So for this one, I had multiple Lauras in here, multiple spells. And if you scroll down here, we've got a Botan, we've got a Rem, and then we've got M4 Carbine here to get this image right here. And so that's one important thing as well is you can stack Lauras or spells and create more of an effect based on what strength you input. So we've got 1.2 for Ram, we've got 0.7 for Botan, and then we've got one for the rifle. And so you can see it's got the, the coat of Botan, you've got a little bit of the maid outfit, and then you've got the gun here. So that is pretty fantastic in my opinion. But if we want to enhance it right now, it is pretty low quality. It is 512 by 768. If we want to upscale it, if we want to enhance it, we do have to use some additional beans here. So now what we can do is use our upscaler here to increase the resolution. Um, if you do a upscale of two, it's going to cost eight beans. If you do an upscale of three, it's going to cost 10. And if you do an upscale of four, it's going to cost 15 and you can see what it resizes it up to here. So we're going to go ahead and upscale by the max here and then the high res step to increase pixel density. We can increase this a little bit. The denoising strength can affect the original image. So so you can go lower to keep it more faithful to the original image or you can go higher to try to get rid of some noise. But we're going to go ahead and just leave it at the standard. And then you have all of these different upscalers and can be overwhelming. So I recommend you just leave it at the standard upscaler and it is pretty good. Good. So we're going to go ahead and enhance this for 15 yo beans. All right. And so here is the final upscaled image. Unfortunately, this one did not come out as nice as I wanted.
on it. On the chest here, you have weird clothing that's going on. On the legs here, you have weird clothing as well. And that is currently just a limitation on the upscalers and technology. I might have gone a little bit too far, a little bit too fast. So what we're going to do is let's do two first, and then we'll go ahead and decrease the denoising to 0.45. And then we'll leave high res at standard, and we'll go ahead and re-enhance this at Eight. And so here we have it at two right here. You can see the features are much more similar to the main one. And that could be just due to some of the settings that I changed um, with going upscale by two, high res, and then four or five for the denoise. So now this one I could download and it is going to be um, larger and higher quality. As you can see, if you click the full screen option right here, this one is as large as it can get. And if we click a uh, full screen on this, we have much more real estate to navigate around on. And so that is the upscale option on here. It does does cost more yo beans because it requires quite a bit more compute to do the upscaling and and that is how you can generate some images and with that we're gonna go ahead and head on over to explore where we can find other people's images um, but do be warned this area gets a little bit crazy and you may find NSFW on here um, even if you have it selected off so what I mean by that is if you click on your name up here and you click settings normally you have these tags right here selected off and blur NSFW images but this requires that somebody who's uploading their content has turned off the NSFW tag. So, so what if I mean by that, if I go back to this image here, I go to create a post, I can title it, I can give it a description, I can opt off of NSFW to, to allow it to be shown when that is checked off, and then I can include the image settings here. Um, some people choose not to include the image settings, they just want to show off their artwork, which is okay, and then you can click create post. So I'm going to go ahead and do include image settings, and then I'm just going to go ahead and title it rem, and then create this post. Once this is on here, you can now see it here, and if for example you wanted to um, recreate this image, you could just go to the image, click this I button, and do use these settings. And one thing to note, the top section is a gold mine for searching for ways to complete and do Yodayo. So you've got complex tutorials, you've got Yodayo model guide, hairstyle, um, different models um, that you can use and, and an image representation of how these models look. So these are all pretty fantastic. You can look at that. Um, and I recommend just, you know, exploring the Yodayo top area um, to find some guides on how you can do some of these image generations. So we actually will just use my example here. Let's say that you want to copy these settings. You just click the eye, you go to use these settings, and then you can go ahead and generate an image. So it'll select the models here. Um, it'll select all of the sampling methods and it'll give you the seed. So what I was talking about earlier for the seed was that it'll allow you to generate the same image. So if we go ahead and generate, it's gonna actually generate the original image. And so here we have the original one. It's not gonna create the upscaled one, which is, this is the upscaled one that I shared. It's not gonna create that one. It's just gonna create the original unupscaled version, and then you have to upscale it yourself. But if you wanted the seed, the original copy of it, it gives you that. And let's say that I change the C to um, a 2 at the end instead of a 1. If I regenerate it, it's going to give me something that is a little bit different, as you can see here. And then if I go back to 1 for that generation and then regenerate, it's going to go back to that original image. So yeah, that is the explore area. That is the new artwork and how you can use other people's um, models for inspiration if, you, if they share their prompt. And then, you know, that's the seed and all these other ones right here in the bottom. And lastly, we have the Tavern Beta. So this is pretty cool. It's basically a bunch of chatbots with the personality of these whole life characters or anime characters. And it's kind of like a role playing type thing where you can talk to the characters. So I find that is pretty cool. And it looks like they're introducing more characters weekly. They did not have these last week. Let's just go ahead and click on Central, for example. And so here we kind of have a setting from the character and then a response. Response. So, shortly after you arrived, <clears throat> shortly after you arrived, Marin stands at the helm of her ship, her eyes sparkling with excitement as she sees you approach. Ah, oh, hi there! Welcome to my humble abode. And so you can start the conversation with something exciting like, hello there. And obviously I'm pretty terrible at this. Here is a response. Ah, jared -san. I've been waiting for your arrival. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. She gestures toward a seat near the table where some snacks are laid out. How was your journey? And so I played around with this a little bit before and it's actually pretty good. The the chat model that they're using is pretty good. Um, it's pretty nice in the way it interacts and you can do a lot of different things with it. So 
I think it's going to be pretty exciting once they add voice to it and where you could actually talk to it. It's going to get pretty crazy and that technology I don't think is too far around the corner as I've already done some of that stuff myself. And lastly, if you go to the home page and you click on the Discord icon up here, you can join the Discord of Yodayo and that's where you can find stuff like contests, lots of things, and the contests you can win at least 200 Yo Beans per week. And that pretty much sums it up for Yodayo. I did want to list a couple of things that I found were negatives for the site. Uh, the biggest one for me is the explore page is very unfiltered. There are a lot of things that just pop up on the recents for the explore page that I think should be filtered out and I think that could use a little bit more moderation for how people can post, stuff like that, etc. Um, that is the biggest complaint that I have for the Yodayo site. Other than that, the image generator itself is pretty fantastic. If you're coming from Stable Diffusion, it does lack a little bit of additional customization to where you can add your own models, your own Loras, but Yodayo has a bunch of Loras and models on there that I don't think this is going to be too much of a problem. And last nitpick is just one tiny little thing. I do wish they did split their Yodayo spells and models a little bit more so that I could see which ones are actually Yodayos that they've made for the site themselves. But that's pretty much all of my complaints. It's an image generator based on Stable Diffusion and it does a fantastic job at doing that. And of course it is paid but they do offer ways to get Yobin so that you can run it for free especially if you're active in the community they really reward you for that so that's gonna be today's video and see you later guys